Hello everyone. Uh, Hello. My, is, my, uh, my name is CZR. <laughs> and welcome to ESA Summer 21. We are raising money for saved children. Links can donate. To donate can be found below the stream. We would also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now, as you guys heard, we do have CR drums here, going ham on the drums, and we have our lovely com uh, commentator Omnisaurus here as well. Guys. The floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Uh, today I will be playing SM64 with my drum set. I'll be beating the game by collecting 16 stars. Um, I did want to talk about the controls before we get started. So uh, the way I move Mario is I use these four drums right here. So I have up, left, right, and down. The rims of the drums control the C buttons. So up down, right, and left. And then I have the B button on this symbol, R on this one, uh, and then start on the hi-hats. On my bass drum, I have jump. So if I if I hit softly, Mario does a short jump. And if I hit harder, Mario does a higher jump. So this gives me variability and versatility during the run. Uh, if, yeah. I'm getting what? <laughs> Feedback? Oh, no game fee. Oh, let me... Uh, da, da, da. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, if I do a short, a soft bass drum hit, then Mario does a soft or short jump. And if I hit hard, Mario does a longer jump. Uh, if I press the hi-hats, Mario uh, crouches, or that's the Z. And then I also have a, a pedal that has a B button on my feet. So I can press B with my hands or my feet throughout the run. Um, there's two more things I want to mention. If I hit the drums really softly, Mario moves very little. This is useful in several parts of the run. For example, cannonless. And then if I hit this crash symbol, I can toggle Mario's movement. So as you can see, I don't have to roll on the drum. Uh, which will be useful in other parts of the run, like Bowser throws and BLJs. All right, uh, that is it for the controls. Uh, I'm ready to get started. Cool. All right, and Onosaurus, who's my commentator, helped me connect the drums to a real N64. So we're doing this run on a real N64. Ona, you can talk a little bit about that after we start. All right, everyone ready? Let's do it. All right, five, four, three, two, one, start. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Super Mario 64 Drum Percent. Uh, I'm Onasaurus here on commentary. Um, I made the device that allows him to connect his MIDI drum set to a real N64. Um, this is actually a modified version of the TAS replay device used by TASBOT at several of the marathons. Um, here playing the drums is CZR. He's been actually playing the drums for 14 years. Uh, about uh, two-ish years ago, he started speedrunning uh, Ocarina of Time. And he did that on controller for five months. And then he decided to combine his loves for gaming and drumming and said, hmm, what if I try running Ocarina of Time with a drum set? And he did that for a month on uh, his PC using emulator. And after that, he decided, hmm, maybe I should try switching to Mario 64. And he fell in love with that. He's been doing that for about a year. Nice try with the lack of two skip. Uh, yeah. That is obviously a lot harder to do on the drum set. And that's a theme you're gonna see throughout this run is that very subtle movements become a lot more difficult uh, on the drum set. And so a lot of the strategies will be going for consistency rather than the fastest known strategy because at this point in how the speed runs developed, just making fewer mistakes saves more time than going for a two or three second time save. And so what you'll see for the first star is you'll notice that he's grabbing this box. And he is indeed going for the star behind uh, Womp's gate, but instead of going for the bomb clip, he's going to go for another clip. 
So watch how he does this, lines up in the corner, drops that box when he is in the right position. There you go. And on through he goes oh. to get star number one. First star. Hey Caesar, do a stick trick. Let's go. So, so uh, tell them what they can do uh, if they donate. If they donate for a stick trick, what sorts of things can you do? Oh, I can do twirls, flips, backward flips, <laughs> drops, anything really. Awesome. So what that means is if you go ahead and donate now and you include a message in your donation that says something along the lines of, hey, CZR, do a stick trick, he will try and go ahead and do those and incorporate them into his run. So get your donations in during this run with the appropriate comment to make it happen. All right. It looks like we are going for Cannonless. This is definitely one of the more difficult stars in this run. He's uh, using a uh, texture visual cue to line up. Nice. And gets it first try. All right. One of the coolest things about this run is that during the tension, is he going to get that cannonless star? It actually, it ends up being a drum roll. Like, is it going to yeah. happen? Drum roll. And uh, it's just so great. This run is so fun. I hope you're all enjoying it. All right. Up next, looks like we're going to go for our Quick little side flip star. Nice. Very good. I say nice because uh, consistency is very tough in these stars. So anytime my route uh, goes as planned, it's very satisfying. Very satisfying. All right. Yeah. Next, we're going for a Womp Splot. Yes. So um, he's going to go on up and he's going to attempt a uh, triple jump. Wall dive to get up quickly. Nails it. Again, well, some might consider that, you know, a more basic trick. Uh, you know, every little thing like that is very difficult on the drum set. Um, during this time, I'll take a moment to just tell you about his drum set. One of the most common questions he gets is, is that a rock band drum set? Uh, no, this is a slightly more sophisticated drum set. Slightly, slightly more expensive. Uh, feel free to look up a Roland 17 KVX. That's what he's using. Uh, and that allows him to do, uh, to get more advanced inputs. I know the game feed may have been caught off, cut off for some of it, but you might be able to see if you look closely that if he hits the center of his uh, white colored drums, that, that controls his direction. But if he hits the rim, that controls the C button. So when he needs to make camera adjustments, He'll be hitting the rims of the drums, and uh, you know, a rock band drum set wouldn't allow you to have multiple touch areas on the same drum. Very nice, and we are almost done with Womps. Hey Caesar, do a stick trick. Uh, <laughs> almost dropped it. <laughs> um, any uh, any stick trick donations come in yet? Actually, I just got one right in. We got nice. we got fifty dollars from Genesis. Ooh. Thank you, Genesis. Says, he says stick trick. Count me in. Also, thanks ESA for another awesome online event. Can't wait for an on-site event though. I miss my speed friends. Yeah. This is for you. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, thank you for the donation. Alrighty. Uh, this run has come a long way. Uh, when Caesar first started this, I believe his first complete run was about an hour and a half. I think it was an hour and 26 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and right now we're uh, sub 23 minutes is his PB, which is the world record, uh, which is also the last place run because as of now, it's, he's the only person running drum percent. If this sounds like something that's interesting to you, uh, if you have uh, a MIDI drum set, or or honestly, any MIDI instrument at all. Um, I know Caesar has been known to play multiplayer with some people running on MIDI keyboards, guitars. Um, you know, we love the Mario 64 community, especially the strange instrument Mario 64 community. Uh, strange controllers, unusual instruments. Uh, we love it. So. 
shout outs to anyone who does that. All right. Meanwhile, while I was explaining that, that penguin star went super smooth. That's one of the strategies that's very similar to the controller run. Uh, here we're going to go ahead and see if wall kicks will work. And indeed they do today. Uh, <laughs> but long jumps don't work, but wall kicks work. So, quick backup. There we go. There you go. <laughs> you got time for some quick donations? Yep. Perfect. We got $25 from Pathetic that says, Almost forgot to donate. Good luck with the run, smiley face. And we got $10 from Neflin that says, Can you do a drum roll while in the air for a really long time? <laughs> Thank you so much oh. for those donations. But that is a good question. Can you do that? Uh, I could do a drum roll, but it will affect Mario's movement. So I usually jam out when my inputs aren't being uh, heard by the game. But otherwise, it's all business. I will say, though, that if he is moving in the air, chances are he is doing a drum roll because what you might notice is no. that... <laughs> that's all right. You'll hop right back in there. Uh, yeah. What you might notice is that yeah, if he just taps the drum, he only moves a small bit. So he basically has the drum roll. Drum rolling is basic movement. Now, the exception to that, as he mentioned earlier, is that uh, he can hit a certain uh, crash symbol to enter what he calls toggle mode. In this toggle mode, if he hits up just once, it will hold up for him. And if he hits left, it will hold left for him. This toggle mode was very important to be able to do uh, certain tricks, such as spinning Bowser at the end of this level. Without it, it would have been nearly impossible. So what you'll see uh, after he enters the pipe coming up ahead, you'll watch he will transition his drum set to toggle mode, and then after grabbing Bowser, watch how he gets him up to speed. He's gonna cycle through all of the drums really quickly. And you might think that you have to keep spinning Bowser to keep him up to speed, but actually once you get him up to speed, you just have to hold a direction and it keeps that speed. So he's gonna spin him in circles. That speed's gonna hold automatically. Nice. And nice release. Cool. Then he'll take it out of toggle mode and continue with the run. This toggle mode is also extremely useful for backwards long jumps, holding backwards. Yep. And yes, you will be seeing BLJs on a drum set. Possibly the highlight of the run. All right, coming up next, we're going to transition to the basement stars after a quick bonk on the head. <laughs> Lucky bonk. Yeah, I, we, we did that in practice too. So that must be the good luck bonk. Yep. How you feeling, Caesar? Doing this live in front of uh, I won't tell you how many thousands of people. <laughs> it feels good. I really enjoy doing this. Um, I've been drumming for a long time, so I've performed a lot. But it's really cool to be showing this off for sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> nice. That's all right. You know, this isn't totally unexpected, and uh, that's why, again, earlier, uh, the biggest challenge in this run is consistency. Just basic consistency is very difficult. But looks like we're going to be all right going for yes, our favorite bird. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, CZR originally went for a safer strategy, um, similar to what Bubsia you may see do later friend the blindfolded run where you just wait on the pillar for the bird but um one thing that one thing cdr did is he actually only very recently started running mario 64 with a controller he actually learned it on drums before controller he started learning it on controller just to um understand the game from another perspective really that was very fast great job
Thanks, thanks. And after learning it on controller, he started incorporating more tricks into his drum run. So it was very interesting that, you know, learning it on the drums helped it from one perspective and learning it on the controller actually helped his drum run from another perspective. Yeah, absolutely. Um, playing on the drums first kind of helped me figure out figure out what I needed, what I was, um, what would work for this game, and then playing it on a controller helped me learn the the physics, the mechanics, and some more complicated strats that were being done um, that weren't being done on the drums. Yeah. Um... One thing, you know, Caesar definitely notes that, you know, playing this on the drum is hard enough. Playing this on the drums while commentating is even more difficult, which is why I'm doing a lot of the talking. And I just want to say that was an amazing eight red coin star while talking. So good job with Thanks. that. I'm sure that Thanks. wasn't easy. <laughs> uh, this is one of the sources of RNG in the run. Those boulders uh, are based on randomness, so we never know what boulder pattern we're going to get. He gets an okay pattern, gets hit by one boulder, uh, nice. and then as soon as we get up here, we oh, will be... Oh, quick trip to the map, check where we are, and then as soon as we get up there, um, we should be uh, ready for a visit to Toad. You have time for some donations? Yep. Perfect, because we are getting them in slowly here. We got, nice. first of all, $10 from Baird, that says... As a musician and a speedrunner, this fascinates me so much. I'd love to see a stick trick rocked on CSR. And we got $50 from Hey J. Well done to all the amazing speedrunners. I can't not donate during CSR drums run. Wow. And we all agree that is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for those donations. And I just was looking here at the tracker and I see that we are $51,492. And we currently nice. have our next milestone at 51985 which is for our ESA Summer 2020 total. So guys, how about we try and within the next hour get that milestone met? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that, yeah, it's it's hard not to laugh at that. Um, anyone who's played Hazy Maze Cave knows that if you if you mess up a little bit, sometimes uh, Mario gets stuck in some real funny animations. So no problem, not a huge time loss, we'll jump back in. And great job, everyone, with the donations. Keep up the great work. Uh, I know we're going to uh, crush those records. <laughs> The strat is a little, little harder than it looks. This is probably one of the hardest um, stars in the game. There All is right. an, there is an easier um, strat for this, but it it does take a long time. Yeah, just uh, watch your life total. Oh yeah. In case you want to do a safe strat. There you go. Nice. Clutch, there you go. Very, very nice. All right, we got one more in here. All right, this is my favorite star in the run. I don't know why, but we all have our favorites. So for those of you familiar with uh, Half-Life speedrunning, particularly Half-Life 2, uh, you may know that sometimes you bonk an NPC on the head to speed up their animations to get things to go faster. Well, um, Mario 64, if you go ahead and bonk Mario on the head with the elevator, that also speeds up grabbing the star. Very nice. All right, well, this is a 16 star run and we have 15 stars. So I guess it is, you know what time it is. It's time for our favorite, it's time for our favorite rabbit. Ugh, very close. There's a really cool backup if you have trouble grabbing Mips. If you dive and slide down that slope in that exact area, he will run into your arms. And there is our 16 star. Wait. Uh, aren't you gonna grab the 16th star? Uh, no, we're not gonna need it. 
Okay. It's a time um, loss. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm sure many of you have seen Mario 64 runs before. Uh, we use Mips the bunny to clip through the first door, carry him through, and then we use him to clip through the second door. Except this time we don't need to bring him with us. And indeed, we are going to get our 16th star in this level. Which brings us to um, an excellent point. Caesar, CZR, um, when you transition from emulator runs to console runs, once you got this device, uh, what do you think one of the biggest differences was to get used to? Definitely the lag that comes with playing on the N64. So it makes several sections a little bit tougher because of the timing. And also there's a little bit of lag already with the drums. So I have to like kind of foresee the inputs, especially in laggy areas. And then also the controls feel way different from emulator. It's two completely different setups. And we're up. Nice. Um, so that that's also a tough part that it felt completely different. So it took a while to get used to on N64. But because of the Bowser throws wind up, uh, N64 is actually the fastest version to play on. All right, Very Fire good. C. Yeah, I think Fire C is a pretty good time for donations if there are any. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Let's get this party started. We have $20 from Sitting Kitten, but no comment. But thank you very much. That actually goes towards the Dark Souls Bid War for the Dark Lord. No. <laughs> what a bully. Sorry, please. What continue. a bully. No, that it's okay. It always happens. You never <gasps> know what's going to happen in marathons. We have $10. <laughs> oh no. I didn't save. <laughs> Um, was not expecting a game over. Do you do you want to continue from a file with some of the stars unlocked, and you will you can continue where you left off? Uh, do you guys want me to do that? Oh, that if you sucks. have a save ready with the stars, you can just go directly to the final buff, so that could work. Okay, then uh, not an official run anymore. But you can see how. Uh, how tough this can be, definitely. Alright, I'm gonna go for the 20... For this file, the 27th, and I'll just finish the game from there. I still have to... Um... I still you have to DLJ, so... Yeah, if, if... Depending on the time, you could probably still do Fire C and make the estimate, or... I think yeah. so. Yeah. So you guys can see the whole run. Wow, wouldn't he mips? Let's see if mips is over here. All right, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he's over you here. didn't get the mips start. <laughs> uh, looks like I did. No. All right, so excellent job with Bowser in the fire sea, and now we're gonna go upstairs to uh, see the BLJs. No um, problem at all. No problem at all. This happens sometimes, and we gotta. We gotta keep with the marathon schedule, so no problem. We're just gonna go upstairs to show uh, probably the hardest trick of the run, and that are the backwards long jump. So that toggle mode we spoke about earlier will... Oh, I don't have the key, no. All right. Uh, um, one, 120 file. Me. Yeah, 120 file. And so, um, one thing that's really cool is like a, uh, like a good rocker, uh, CZR has a double bass pedal. So when he gets ready to do the backwards long jumps, he's gonna enter that toggle mode, or he's gonna do a long jump. He's gonna enter that toggle mode to hold up on the controller. And he is going to, with both feet, slam on that bass drum in an alternating fashion. And what that's gonna do is, that's basically mashing A, like someone with a controller would be doing. And uh, with any luck, we will be able to clip through the door up here. So here yeah. we go. All right, that might work. All right, let's see. 
close. Might be though. a little under, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is definitely the harder of the two uh, BLJs. Here we go. All right, gonna try again. No problem. Take three. I cannot Not emphasize how difficult this trick is on a <laughs> drum set. Show some love for CZR in the chat. We got this. Come on. <laughs> As you can see, this is a pain point in this category for sure. I've lost many runs to this. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> we got wow. a lot of speed that time. All you have to do is uh, talk during it, and apparently that Literally. makes it easier. All right, this this is not endless stairs anymore, but let me see if I can still feel J my way. <laughs> no, there you go. <laughs> there we go. That totally would have worked. All right, and last stage. Off. Yeah. Uh, there's actually been a fair number of route changes and improvements to uh, Bowser in the Sky on drums. Uh, if he goes for the triple jump in the beginning, uh, that's something he used to not do on drum set. Um, additionally, there are a couple other improvements uh, later on when he gets to the horizontal elevator. Uh, there's different ways to get up on the pole or to, you know, what... Um, controller runners will do is they'll go for a very subtle triple jump wall kick. That has not been routed into drum percent yet. But CZR has this series of long jumps and grabs that he uses to quickly get across. And then uh, the strat he currently goes for is a side hop jump grab. He then walks slightly down and does a backflip, which is a consistent setup to grab that pole. Otherwise, grabbing that pole can be uh, buggy, and Mario lets go sometimes. So the position of these Goombas up here is based on randomness. It looks like they're in a favorable location right now. Great dive, and after one more triple jump, or a couple jumps, we're going to go and head into the final Bowser. Alright, for this last fight, I'm not going to do all three throws. So I'm actually going to wait for Bowser to run uh, towards me. Now there's a 50-50 chance he will jump or run towards me. So this is very RNG dependent. We got one jump, which is pretty, nice. pretty good RNG. Yeah. And that's the first throw. You for might anyone... see... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say for anyone who has trouble with Bowser throws in general. Yeah. Um, if you're a newer runner or a casual player of the game, this is a fantastic strategy that will get you through two of the three throws, as you'll see. All right, two jumps. So a total of three throws. That is not ba bad RNG, actually. It's pretty okay. For the third one, he'll always do his angry dance there, allowing you to grab his tail. And as the stage falls away, you can't bait him right next to the... Uh, mines, but you and can do an throw. excellent throw like that. Great <laughs> job, CZR. Thank you. Uh, so time is going to come up as soon as Mario touches the star. And time. Woo! Good job. Great job dealing with, you know, the uncertainty of the uh, marathon oh no. setting and, uh, you know, we always have a couple that's never happened before, and uh, yeah, definitely. You know, great job adapting on the fly. Thank you, and, thank you. And I think we have some fun coming up as well. Yeah. Um, sorry, you guys didn't see Fire Sea, but if you want to see it, you can go on my Twitch or YouTube channel where I post my runs or do runs live. <laughs> awesome. Quick plug in. Yeah, and uh, if you're interested in the device that made this all happen or anything else TaskBot related, please check out uh, the TaskBot community at discord.task.bot where you can contact me or any of the other members. Mm -hmm. But I heard there was a donation incentive to have you rock out to the ending credits. Yeah, is that still happening? It is How's absolutely that? happening. The floor Let's is yours. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, All right. 
We're gonna jump yeah. to the ending music. Usually, in my on my channel, if I get a world record, we'll um, jam out to the ending music and also get a gong hit. So this is how we'll start the jam out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. That was 16 star drum percent. Um, sorry, there was a break in the run, but I hope you enjoyed that and enjoy this jam out. Thank you. Thanks everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and mute for the jam. much for to playing my game and thank you for watching thank you everyone thank you so much csr for that amazing drum run here before we head out i'm just going to quickly go through those donations that were left a bit behind for yeah. you yeah. we have ten dollars from blaster mac that says love seeing this run on a drum set and the amount of finesse and grace being displayed with it runs like this makes me want to get into speed running too keep on being awesome we Thank have $5 you. from Skillafil that says, this is wild. CSR, you're a legend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're a legend for donating, my man. And yeah. we also got a $10 donation from Wade Drums. Joe, this is awesome. Oh, wow. I've been drumming for about 12 years. I would love to hear a sick 
blast beat and that's exactly what you just heard with this amazing credits <laughs> cover thank you so much for those donations thank you csr and omnisaurus for the run we are now going to move on to intermission but stay tuned because we have sonic robo blast 2 with a lemming coming up <laughs> 